over to Far Point Farms, and here we are at the back side of my garage. And here we are finally doing the tower build. So uh, I got a little clip here I'm going to show that shows how I built this bracket down here, and we'll go to that for a second. All right, so it's time to uh, get this thing started. And I've got the wooden pieces here, and what you can see I've done here for the base is I've notched out a couple of 4x4s and I'm overlapping them. Slide those into place there. And so this piece will lay pretty close to the building itself and it's going to be hinged so when I raise it, it comes up flat. And I'll have another hinge on the other side that's just there so when it is in its fully erect position, I'll screw that in and that'll, hold, that'll be kind of its base plate to hold it down. Then eventually, once everything's in place and attached to the building, I'll build a, a kind of a tripod down here using these pieces, these outriggers come up to about the four foot or three foot height to hold that in place. At least that's the theory. This is kind of a project in motion. I've got an idea in my head and I don't know whether this will work well or not, but I'm hoping it will. So the next step is I've got these loose here. I'm going to go ahead and use some pretty seriously sized lag bolts and lag all these into position. Then I will bolt this to the side of this uh, two by four by 16. It's going to be my base piece and it's time to move it over there. And then we'll get started on the metal part of the, uh, of the tower. So Let's go. All right, and so now we've taken the bracket, we brought it over here, and it's time to start assembling everything. And I'm nowhere near done with it, but I figured I'd take a minute here to show you what's going on. So over here, you can see the bracket's in place. It needs to be leveled a little bit, and I'm going to pound rebar into the ground to hold all this in place. And all this will be reinforced with kind of a tripod once this thing's up in place. But we go up, and I've got a 2x4 that says attach to the main beam of the house. And that's going to hold the uh, 4x4 when it reaches its apogee, when it reaches perfect top. And then I'll put another 4 by, or 2x4 along the other side to hold it in place. Then I'll have some cross pieces to go across there. And we're going to run our cabling up through here, through there, across and over to where my radios and TVs and all the other stuff are in the shop. So I've got one ground rod in the ground here. I'm going to be adding a second ground rod. I might even add three ground rods because this booger is going to be sticking up pretty tight. And I don't really want to burn my garage down. Anyway, let's take a look at the project as it goes. As you can see, I've got my 4x4x16, by by and that's the first place that I had to make a modification to my original design. I wanted to have a 4x4x16, by by and I wanted to have another 8-foot section, and I wanted to graph those two together. But weight-wise, it was just too much. Uh, so we downscaled a little bit on that. I'm still going to have about 36 feet, give or take a few, which is just enough for the uh, ground plane of a... Uh, a CB wave to go so it'll still work out but I am a little disappointed I really wanted that 45 feet it looks like I'm gonna be right at like 36 34 to 36 is where I'm aiming for now so still gonna be a whole lot higher than it was but we come up to here and I've got my top rail posts and what I've done is I've cross drilled through both sides of this 4x4 and I've attached four of these things with nuts and washers and everything to this and that creates the beginning of the metal structure now right here about, about right here, I'm going to have two five-foot sections that run through these. They're going to be braced, and they're going to come off about five feet on either side. And then there'll be parallel rods sticking up about like this. And those will be to hang the ham antenna, the two-meter antenna that I have, and a TV antenna that I've just picked up. It's not a very fancy TV antenna, but just enough to let me pick up maybe one or two stations out here when I'm working on cars or whatnot, because right now I don't get any, any, any uh, reception out here. So that's going to be it. I may try to do a cross where I have room for like an experimental antenna. You know, I do have a uh, small radio station. I do the AM transmitter, so I might try to put an antenna like that on here as well. But it's all going to see how well this thing supports. It is getting heavy. But let's move on up here. And we move to our final section, which is our top piece here. And as you can see here, I've given it about, well, about two feet, about, about 20 inches actually. And again, all four pieces are cross bolted into this one last piece. So it's pretty structurally sound right there. And then we move on up and we've got our last eight feet of pipe here. And right about here is where I'm going to be mounting the IMAX 2000. So it is quite a quite a run and that IMAX is going to stretch up almost to that peach tree that I planted there last year. So we're talking about a good distance. As far as getting it up into place, I, right now I can still lift this myself. I don't know if I can lift it all the way up. But I plan on pushing this thing up uh, quite a bit then getting the Kubota tractor up against the 4x4 and using it as a additional leverage to help me push this thing all the way up. I'm also going to be putting a cross-eye bolt, uh, an eyelet bolt on the other side. I might tie some chain or rope to it to also help on the other side with one of the other tractors to help get this thing into place. 
but for right now, it's actually quite quite firm. You know, it, it does wiggle some when it's left to breeze, but I can imagine that it would take an awful lot of wind or an awful lot of snow to finally bend this thing. Now, that's not to say it's not possible because I have no idea engineering-wise if this is a good or a bad way to go about doing this. But it's what I envisioned uh, looking at Marcus's video, and uh, and it's what I've gone with. So. Uh, Wish me luck, and we'll, we'll, we'll pick it up again on part two, which will show all the side antennas mounted and, and the brackets and this antenna. And then uh, part three will be raising it up. So until then, take care. There's always something that needs a little fixing on Far Point Farms. Freedom is mighty sweet. Liberty shows